In this video, I will provide a quick overview of the Econometrics software that I use for the Econometrics Academy, and this is Stata, SAS, and R. A quick overview of this presentation. First, I will talk about different Econometrics software packages that are used for Econometrics. Then I will compare the software packages, their advantages and disadvantages. Then I will talk a little bit about the choice of software to use. And then I will talk about my approach in creating the programs and the steps you need to take to learn these software programs. There are several econometrics packages that are typically used. I use Stata, R, and SAS, but other econometric packages that are very popular include SPSS, eViews, Minitab, MATLAB, and Excel. And as of now, I don't have videos on these, but um, that may change in the future. You never know. Here is a comparison of the software packages that I use. Uh, for Stata, one of the advantages is that it's popular in economics and social sciences, and cost is very reasonable for students if you want to purchase it. Also, there are these great ADO packages that you can use for sophisticated econometrics models. R is gaining popularity in economics and social sciences, especially lately. And one of the greatest advantages is that it's free software package and it's open source software, which means anywhere in the world you can just download it and start using it for free. No need to pay for anything, own licenses and so on. And you can use our packages for sophisticated econometrics models and of course you depend on the people who are putting together these routines to estimate the models. For SAS, this is used a lot by industry and companies and it has been around for a number of years. One of the greatest advantages of SAS is that it's great with large data sets. It, it's, um, uh, its capabilities are just enormous. But the cost is high and I recommend that you obtain it through your employer if at all possible. And another disadvantage is that it typically has limited options for sophisticated econometrics models. So the choice of software packages of which ones you would like to follow based on my YouTube channel views, which is not a scientific study uh, for software popularity, but as of now, it looks like Stata is most popular, then followed by R and then followed by SAS. And this kind of mimics the uh, comprehensiveness of my program. My Stata programs are most comprehensive. It can, they do most commands then R is getting close, but not quite in terms of, of the, the analysis that I can do in R as compared to Stata. And my SAS programs are quite limited based on uh, what options and, and uh, uh, procedures are available for that. So my recommendation is if your university has Stata and encourages using it, then by all means use it. Otherwise, just use R for free and follow the class. So my approach to creating programs is, first of all, my programs are already written and executed. It took me a number of years to create these. And I don't type in front of you or execute it line by line. You can do this on your own. Just change the directory and the programs will work. I have um, simplified models and variables and data. A lot of the data files are coming from very established uh, websites, examples, textbooks, and so on. Um, and I use just the basics. I take two, three independent variables, the dependent variable, and I don't worry about all the complications or intricacies of the data set. I have a very strong use of global statements. I use the global statement in Stata, and C I'm using CBind for variables in R. This means that typically in the beginning of the soft of the program, I will define which one is the Y variable, which one's in the X, and that's a great teaching tool to kind of make you realize which are the important features of this model. But once we have those defined, the rest of the program should work. So when you have to modify my programs for your own research, it's very easy. 
Just change your x and y to your variables and the rest of the program should run. One thing I find about novices is it's very hard to say which ones are the variables of your analysis and which lines or words or code uh, for procedures or routines. So that will greatly reduce the amount of error and your frustration and you should be able to use these for your own research. So here are the steps to learn the software programs. First of all, learn about the software. I would watch. Uh, I would recommend that you watch the Introduction to Stata R or CES videos that I've produced. If you need more help, just Google and find any of the other videos. They're great about just learning um, from any website or any YouTube channel about learning the software. Then once you feel comfortable with the software itself, then you need to learn about the particular model. First watch the lecture and the example video. I don't recommend jumping directly to the software video like the status R or SAS because then you may not know how to interpret things and what, what each line is doing. So make sure that you watch those videos first. And then you're ready to learn how to estimate these models using software package. So I would recommend go to my website, Google Econometrics Academy, find it and download the programs and the data set. Um, one thing to say is that um, these programs, uh, the .do for, for Stata, .r for R, and .sas for SAS files, if you don't have the software on your computer at home, these files are also viewable as text files, so you can just open them as text and see what's in them. Another thing is that I will soon post the programs and the output as PDF files. So even though you may not have the software or anything at home, you could just look at the code and look at the output and trust me that they do run and these are the results. And you can learn things on your own even without ever touching the software. So that's good if, for example, you're watching these videos at home and you don't have direct access to the software, you can learn it regardless. And when you need to use the software for your own programs, then you could go to a place like to, to your university or something like that and start modifying your, your programs. So that's all I had to say about different software packages. I hope you made up your mind which one you're going to use. And now it's time to jump into the content and start the class. Thank you for watching.